and welcome back to some more Balloon Sea Battles. So, in this video, I do have another special one for you guys. Um, it's, as you can probably tell by the title, if I'm going to put that in the title, I don't know yet, but it's kind of like a cheap version of late game. Um, it was, it was kind of late game, kind of not, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put that in the title or not, I probably won't, but just thought I should include that. Um, so I do, yeah, we end up skipping this map. Um, I believe, yeah, he ends up skipping it. Um, and then we end up choosing this map. So, this setup that I got, these three towers, weren't exactly ideal for a late game uh, sun temple, which is why I'm calling it the cheap late game. Um, just using ninja and technological terror for sun temples isn't really the ideal way of going about it. Ice towers are a big part of it so that's kinda why I said that um, I don't know why I just said that twice but first we do start off with a ninja monkey obviously because we can't afford a super monkey yet um, and then we will move our way up to the super monkey as we get more money so now we go ahead and chop one down and uh, I had some difficulties with this because I was trying to get it in the top right corner but my finger was too fat so <laughs> it was kinda difficult um, we do manage to fit it in the top right corner and the reason for that is because I'm trying to manage my space with the super monkey as much as possible um, so yeah because um, if you manage your space a lot better with sun temples then you can fit more sun temples than an, an area so that's why I did that um, we do throw our spikes down just because there's like no reason and just, I mean, yeah, like there's no reason not to throw them down, so that is what we did, and, um, yeah, so he kind of does the same thing, but on his side it's a little more sloppy, like, I'm just focusing on eco right now, and then I move over to the green balloons, I believe, if I, I don't think I've realized it yet, no, there we go, but on his side he's a little more disorganized when it comes to placing towers, which I did notice, which um, kind of gave me a big relief, um, because then that kind of told me that he's not that great of a player, because as you can see, his placement is terrible. Um, I'm not trying to just hate on him, but that placement wasn't the greatest. So, and then he goes for Dardling Gun. So, I mean, at this point, at this point in the match, I'm already feeling pretty confident in being victorious because his tower placing abilities are not that great so um, we do go ahead and get our laser monkey though um, and a thousand eco so we are able to start making money pretty quickly and um, when I like do these videos let me know if you guys would like to um, I don't know if you guys would like me to actually comment or have commentary on this video or whether you'd like music or I don't know, just any suggestions at all would be great. Like, there could be my music, or my music, my voice over music. There could just be music by itself. There could just be me by itself like it is now. Um, or, I don't know, just have to let me know. So whatever you guys would like me to do, I will be happy to do. Just let me know in the comment section, and I will be glad to do that. I just said that three times, but <laughs> it's pretty important, so... And he, what I'm also glad about is he has no, at this point, is he has no intention for going late game. Um, which is something that I did intend on doing, so that kind of made me a little happier, because I was going for Sun Temple as well as Eco. He wasn't really going for, I mean, I can't really tell since they're not making it on the screen, but I didn't think he would because he was putting, he was making so much, like, putting so much money onto the field that are into towers that I didn't think he would have enough money to actually um, afford to eco which is why I kinda just assumed that um, but his placement again as you can see is poor and I'm, I should stop rubbing it in his face if he's watching this video which he's probably not but I'm just I don't want to rub it in his face he, he still did okay so and I'm not a great player so I can't really I don't know what I'm trying to say. So, let's move on. 
So he does start sending camos. Well, he didn't start them. It was the naturals. Um, so then I just go ahead and throw out a dark monkey. I also get my technological tear up and running in the top right hand corner. Or I try to anyway. But we do have 3,000 eco, so it should be fairly easy to actually get that technological terror. That's the reason I started going for it. Um, and then after we would get that kind of stuff, um, it was actually the Robo Monkey, and then I was like, oh crap, we still have to get the technological terror. So then after this, I start focusing on eco a bit more. Because, like, using 3,000 eco to get up to $25,000 um, is not exactly going to be a fun adventure. So I'm just going to focus more on eco and go from there. Um, but he still has, I don't think he has yet to place a super monkey, so this is also making me feel a little more confident. Because um, again, he has no intent to go late game, which I do, meaning I will beat him in the long run, which is what I was, which is what was going through my head and what I was thinking. So, yeah. Um, I, I did throw in some blue jitsus and, uh, Flash bomb ninjas into the Sun Temple before I actually made the Sun Temple. Um, just because I don't know if that affects anything. I just want to do it just in case, and I had money lying around. So you will see me do that in a few seconds. Um, but we're just going to stick tight to Eco and go from there. So I'm fairly sure the pink balloons that I'm Ecoing with right now are the best balloons you can Eco with. Um, if they're not, um, please let me know, because I would, I'm pretty sure they are though, because, um, like I know the rainbows and stuff like that, and the zebras, um, do give off more eco per balloon, but the, you can't send them out as quick, so therefore you would be getting more eco from these pink balloons, as well as the fact that these pink balloons are a lot cheaper than those, so, you're basically getting more eco for a cheaper price, so, yeah, that's, like those zebras and rainbows are mainly for uh, rushes. Um, I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure that's the only use for them. But as you can see, I do place down a um, what is it even called? I can't remember. Um, but I'm just gonna call it a flash. Oh, what was it called? Sabotage spy lines. I threw down a sabotage spy lines ninja as well as a blue jitsu ninja, and now I'm going for the sun god. Which, a mistake I did make, though, is I did upgrade the range first. Um, which, I am aware of the mistake that I made there. So you don't have to tell me. Um, but, I wasn't really too worried about it. Because, he wasn't, again, he, again, he wasn't really... I, he didn't plan on going late game. So, I felt like, since he wasn't going for late game that it wouldn't matter too much on my placement so that is kinda why I did that so yes I do realize I did make that mistake but it wasn't really gonna cost me so and I do realize I just said the same thing like 14 times in a row <laughs> um, but I mean there's not really anything else to talk about nothing new has really happened he has gotten some dartling guns down there he has gotten a missile one I don't really know the names because I never used dartling gun but he got a dartling gun with a missile launch with missile launcher <laughs> with missiles and then one with lasers which basically left and right which again I don't know what he's going for there because the placement of them is bad again it's just kinda like really erratic and um the only thing those are good at like dartling guns are good at are taking out balloons um not mobs so I, it, that wasn't a late game unit again and the placement was bad. <sighs> I know, I'm being brutal today. I'm just terrorizing our opponent with... Not literally terrorizing him in the game, as in destroying him. But, you know what I mean. So we finally did get our Sun Temple. Um, at first, I'm a little, like, confused. Because it kind of struggled with those balloons. But, which I still kind of was. But then I realized that they actually have to come on the screen for the Sun Temple to actually be able to pop them. So... <laughs> I it kind of relieves that part, um, but now I start throwing down some sabotage supply lines, and now he goes for a sun temple or a sun god, which I'm thinking he's going to turn into a sun temple. But the strange thing is that he's not putting anything around that sun god, so I'm like, okay, is this guy just going to have a regular sun temple with no 
towers near it, like not gonna help it at all. Like it, at least a robo uh, or a technological terror, but it doesn't even look like he's gonna do that. And I'm already on my way with my second one. Um, because I do have 10,000 eco, so I can easily afford to do this now. But he probably has nowhere near 10,000 eco. He probably has, like, 2,000, if. If even that. So. I mean, I wish there was a way of knowing the other per person's eco, like, maybe, um, spending money, or, like, throwing money away to, uh, take, like, a peek at their eco. Because I feel like that'd be a really useful t um, thing in the game. But I don't know. So we did get our Sun God and our Technological Terror as well as Blue Ninja Ninja. And now we are just focusing on Eco. Not that we need more, but I mean, it never hurts to have more Eco. So we're just focusing on Eco while we collect up to $100,000. And then we will get our second Sun Temple. So right now I'm feeling really confident. Um, because as you can see on his side, mobs are getting much further than they are on my side. Obviously because I have way more powerful towers down. Um, he has two sabotage supply line, three sabotage supply line ninjas, two balloon jitsus. And then he has a couple dartling guns as well as a sun god. So like, the dam so like when it comes to mobs, it, it it's really not that great of a defense. Um... I mean, when it comes to balloons, I mean, especially, like, late game, those towers are nothing for late game. Those two darling guns will do nothing for Moabs. Um, I don't know why he only has two. But we did get our third, or our second temple, and now we are going for our third. Um, trying to place it in a tight spot. But I am able to fit it there. And, that, and now when I'm realizing, I should upgrade the range after I get the Sun Temple, which I just realized, so... I know sometimes it can be confusing because I'm talking as if I'm actually playing while I'm talking about it, um, but I'm not. So I am. I kind of confuse myself sometimes. <laughs> Don't ask me how that's possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are cruising along. We just got another technological tear, and now we just have to save up for a hundred thousand again. So he does finally turn his sun a sun god into his sun temple, which, as you can see, he didn't put anything next to it. Um, so it doesn't have any, like, benefits at all. Um, because as you can see on our side, like, the blades are shooting out. I'm pretty sure that's because we have ninjas next, we had ninjas or something next to it. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, my voice. Let me know, like, cause, yeah, because his temple isn't firing. I thought he was about to lose there. That's why I did that face. Um, I thought he was about to lose, or not, I just said the same thing. Um... But his temple doesn't have blades shooting out of it, and mine does. I did just get my third temple, by the way, which is sick. But from this point on, um, all I do is build uh, sabotage supply line ninjas, as well as technological terrors in the spaces that I can. Because I don't need to build any more sun temple or uh, yeah, sun temples, because I already know that there's no way he's going to beat me long game or uh, late game. So, like, if I just put down some sabotage supply lines, I knew for a fact that these three temples could beat his defenses easily. Uh, pro probably one of my temples could beat his entire defense, to be honest. Um, because his sun, his sun temple is not upgraded at all. What I mean by that is there's no towers put into it, other than the sun god, obviously. Um, and the mobs on his side are getting really far already. So, yeah, that was, like... I mean, like, I was happy that I was going to win, but I wasn't that happy since we are only playing for 10 medallions. <laughs> I mean, like, and you guys also probably noticed, if you didn't, um, I had 3,300 medallions. Um, I do now because of the weekly uh, leaderboard rewards. So, if you're wondering, that's, yeah. Um, but instead of just throwing it all away this time, I actually... Like, I'm just sticking to, like, the 10 medallion wagers, so I don't just lose it all, which I'm probably going to do, and it's because Bonanza is out, and any mode that has Bonanza in it, I love to play and record videos of, because it's just my favorite mode to do, so, yeah. Um, so, right now, he's getting really close to losing, because what was kind of going through my head at this point 
was like, oh my gosh, he's really about to lose. Because those mobs, like, they got, da they went from like 0 to 99% damage so quickly. So I thought he was going to lose because he wasn't doing damage to them, but he did. So, these BFBs come in, we are just absolutely shredding them. I did get a little worried because they were getting through, but we just absolutely annihilated them. Um, and this is kind of the point where I'm thinking, well, this is kind of going to be the end for him because, um, and I didn't actually notice before when I was playing this game, he did get a, a second Sun Temple. I mean, it's still, oh wait, no, that one has blades. Why does the second Sun Temple have blades, but the first one doesn't? Let me know if you guys know why his, his Sun Temple on the bottom has, is shooting out blades and his top one isn't. Um, that's something I don't really know, so it'd be really helpful. Um, if you guys would let me know. I mean, obviously you don't have to, it's just... Okay, I'm gonna stop talking until I make it more awkward. Um, at this point, it is very obvious that he is not gonna go the distance with my temples. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, these Moa, these BFBs are just too powerful for him. And this is the kind of, this is kind of the point where I thought it was going to be the end for him, which again, I was hoping it was, and I was hoping it wasn't, more that it wasn't so we could go longer, but at the same time I didn't really want to go longer, because then my phone would probably start lagging, and I wouldn't really like that for video, so, because my first uh, video of this on mobile was like that, and I don't want it to be like that again, so this rush, this mob rush, this is definitely where I thought it would be the end for him, I don't know how he just lost three lives to a mob, but okay, so this is definitely where I knew it was going to be the end of him. He just could, he wouldn't be able to stop all of these mobs just rushing in. So, yep, yeah, that will be the end of the game to wrap it up. So, props to this guy, even though he did lose. Still, it was fun playing with the man. But apart from that, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.